Cole YouTubers, this is your man, Tactical Coconut here, with a short clip on how to clean your gear. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification line so you can get the updates of all my videos that I have that are going to be coming out to you. So again, to, thanks for a big thank you for tuning in, guys, and liking my past videos. This is just a short video today on um, just cleaning, like I mentioned, because man. <laughs> Um, I'm that type of guy that does not like BO, especially when it comes from other people's BO. So, um, just a short one on how, like, I clean my plate carriers. But right now, as you can see, I'm drying, just finished cleaning my Desert Knight Parka. Favorite, favorite thing to wear. Um, and of course, my dreads. And you will see a ton of my armadillo dreads on my videos. So, I usually wash those in lukewarm water in the one in the washing machine but um yeah so this is pretty much my chest rig condor mcr3 with my fast mag pouches um amazing mag pou pouches standard m4s real steel and so on and so forth i also have it on my battle belt which is the voodoo battle belt and um also my dump pouch is on there too and just an admin just so I could throw on patches, but um, I also hold my vector mags in those because I'm balling on a budget and I don't have enough money <laughs> to afford the the real stuff uh, for the mag pouches. But yeah, so I toss that in there too, and um, I'm gonna be pulling up my plate carriers here. So that is the Lancer Tactical plate carrier, my first one, and here's my 511 plate carrier. Hands down, 511 plate carrier, amazing breathable um the padding on it amazing um it feels like i'm on clouds and um it's no not irritation anywhere a um, lot of you know uh what a cardio workout guys um crossfit dudes i should say work out with them so amazing a lot of room for patches a lot of room to put on as you can see i had my fast mags on there too fast mag pouches on there too and uh, my headset was on there i have my one point sling on there and a little just like an admin um, pouch in the back to hold my radio and such but again um awesome 511 awesome awesome um it's small enough inside that i can shoulder my rifle straight stock to my shoulder without any you know buffer between that from the plate carrier um and i also use my dummy plates as you can see i'm pulling out right now um, those are just basic plastic molded dummy plates down the road. I do want to look into Real steel stuff. Um, I have used level threes in there before um, I borrowed it from a friend Awesome, but I do want to use like the rogue um, heavy weights heavy weighted um, Plates so I can work out and just have fun. But overall I use dummy plates light I can move fast and plus I'm already playing hard I'm just playing I'm not even training for real life simulation so I want to just enjoy my time so yep I used dummy plates anyways um, 511 if you can if you have the money for it I say strongly suggest you should um, <laughs> that's my little man tank um, that's my son <laughs> and um, and I just go ahead and throw it right inside um, the washing machine without any issues. So the washing machines that I would request you guys to do is just open washing machines where you don't have the middle thing, the agitator. Um, you were, you str can stress on the fabric. Just an open one from normal washing machine. Um, what's it called? House, place, place of washing clothes. Those are those ones are awesome. Just make sure it doesn't have that metal middle thing the agitator um, and here is the um, The Lancer tactical play care. This is what my brother uses again on every single thing that you want to throw into um, If there's patches remove the patches if there's anything metal remove the metal or somehow um, bundle it together and put it in the pouch or, or a pocket somewhere as you're gonna see with this one I'm gonna stick his one point sling inside like a little pocket that they have inside there. Um, but yeah, so just go ahead and remove everything and 
and just toss it right in with the bleach. Not the, don't add any bleach. Just add a normal detergent, just like what I use. I use the Tide pods, which is amazing. Um, you can toss that right in without any issues. And uh, close it down, turn it on. I usually use warm, lukewarm water for this kind of stuff. And just let it spin, let it do its thing. And all right, so we're all done. Um, as you can see, there's not that much damage. I did forget to mention, when you do start washing it, make sure you line up all the um, Velcro all together so it doesn't just stick around and you know attach to various things that are inside your um, washing machine that's washing with those plate carriers. So if you have Velcro, make sure they go nicely tight with each other and then just run it and cycle. But yep, see, as you can see, I got my socks stuck there. Well, my wife's socks. Socks, not mine's. Um, wish I ran pink ones, I guess. But anyways, they look fine. They smell good. Very Thai delicious. And um, just go ahead and bring them out. Take a look at them. Examine them. If you miss something, um, sorry about it. That's all I can say because you already committed. It went through. So now it's just, you're probably thinking like, you know, TC, what am I going to do next? Am I going to throw in a dryer? Me personally, I say no. Do not put your plate carrier, chest rig, battle belt, whatever you got, into the dryer. That's just me, personally. Um, reason for it, you may damage it, damage it, and damage it. You know, you don't want to damage your own gear, especially if you invested a lot of money into it. Um, my request is just to gather them together and you're gonna see it in a little bit just hang them up you know there's nothing wrong with that hang them inside a closet with the door open fan blowing onto them or hang them out outside on your um, clothesline you know hang it somewhere where you can have air circulate through it and just make sure you get it dry completely because you don't want it to still be wet because then they'll attract mold, it's gonna stink again, all those different things. So just hang them up, you know, that's all you have to do for drying the situation. Um, hang them out as long as you want. And when you're done, you just put them away. Put them on top of your plate carrier rack or in your closet, wherever you hang your gear and so on and so forth. And that's how, and that's what I got for you for cleaning your gear. Um, again, Try your best to clean your gear. I know some people are gonna be like, oh, you're gonna lose the voodoo, you're gonna lose your magic, you're not a real man. Do whatever's, you know. Um, me, personally, I like to smell good. I like to show that I'm clean, and then I like to also get down and dirty, and then come back to the next game, clean again, and encourage myself to get dirty again. And that's just me, you know. Um, but that's what I have for yesterday. Uh, again, thank you very much for all that you guys do. Let's keep them going. Let's get those subscribes up. If we hit like a high, high amount of subscribes, I don't know why. I want to give away stuff. You know, that's how I am. Spreading the law. I want to give you, give you guys free things um, because of you subscribing, liking my videos, and commenting, and all that different stuff. So let's try and hit 100. Let's try and hit 100 um, subscribers, and I'll go ahead and give away a free item, uh, a Daniel Defense Rail. I got brand new Daniel Defense Rails um, that's needing a new home. And um, so let's hit that 100 subscribers and let's keep going. And um, I appreciate all that you guys do. And you know, this is Top Coconut here signing off. And you guys have a great day or wherever a great evening. Aloha.